I'm Alex Grieve, aka Ivy Crazy. And I'm Mark Ashton, aka M Ashton1138. And today we're testing the Connex HD video system. And as you can see, we're on two cameras. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a makeshift ground station to test the brand new Connex HD video link for FPV. It's a 1080 60 capable link system that will provide real-time high-definition footage while you're either flying your aircraft or ground pounding with your RC trucks. And the amazing thing is, is that this, up to this point we only had standard def at 30. This is 1080 at 60. Yeah, and yes. well, you know, we don't really have HD monitors. So we're going to drag this outside with a long extension cord um, and drive it through this, uh, this housing development that hopefully doesn't have a whole lot of activity today um, and see what it can do. But if you look at the Connex, you'll see it's not set up quite like we have it. Um, that's because, you know me, I can't leave well enough alone. Everything needs to be hacked, even if it's not supposed to be. Well, this one has external antenna ports making modification real easy. These were the stock antennas. And if you've flown FPV, you know they make great coffee stirs, but that's about, <laughs> yeah, that's it. about it. So, of course, the very first thing I did is upgrade the antennas. Um, but we've never seen anything like this. It might not make any difference. It might be worse, it might be better. This thing runs at both 5.2 and 5.8 gigahertz, and I'm not sure how it selects it, so that's why I went with Mad Mushrooms on the transmitter and a helical on the receiver. They're the widest band with antennas I've got. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, I don't know about you, Mark, but so far with the image quality, I'm impressed. Yeah, now bear in mind, we are 720-60 right now because the TVs that I have are only capable of 720p. So we're a little, less compressed than what we would normally be if you're going to be a 1080-60 signal. But given the environment we're going to test in, there's zero, almost zero line of sight. Yeah, so we're going to beat it up. So we're going to beat it up right out of the gate on the very first test. So, I mean, let's give it some kind of help, and let's run 720 and call yeah. it a day. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, it's wild. We actually have an FPV system more capable than an HDTV. This is That's never <laughs> happened. That's never happened before. So uh, with that, guys, Here's the testing. All right, so we're all set up, and as you can tell, Alex forgot a tripod, so we had to do a makeshift mount here with his uh, Trident tricopter. Um, one of the first things we noticed, though, as we were getting set up and preparing for this test, uh, we fired the ground station up first and noticed no blue screen. The Connex receiver is still transmitting a signal directly to the TV, even though the TV will go blue screen with no signal. So I'm going to pull this off real quick, unplug it so you can see. And as you can see, the screen has still got some sort of signal. So that gives us some hope that even when we start having loss of signal and breakups, that we won't get a blue screen of death, we'll still have some sort of image that we're able to use and continue to drive the vehicle. First test, modified, of course. <laughs> See how it goes. Oh, I got to stand up here. Yeah, I got to watch the screen. <laughs> yeah, I got to watch the screen. <laughs> That's my fault. Wow, I'm not noticing any lag. It's hard to hard to drive. But... Wow. <laughs> this is freaking incredible. Pretty good ways down the road here.
Yeah, I know. All right, there we go. So there was our first bit of breakup right there. That's about it. Oh, wait, blue screen. Uh, I lost it. But what I can tell you is I'm gonna pan over here so you can see what we're shooting through. Oops, sorry. We're up in there. Oh crap. We are. All right, and we're back. All right. <laughs> so we're back. We're gonna drive back and see. All right, we should get some pixelization there. Open her up a little bit. All right, so uh, we just got done with the uh, modified test. We've got the GoPro inside charging. The battery died on us because we were sitting around playing with it for too long. And uh, we've got the system set up with the uh, stock antennas here on the system. And also they recommend you install like this on an aircraft one up, uh, one sideways. Now, uh, these are a little bit higher off the ground than our system, so it should give a little bit better performance. On the other hand, um, we had 10 dB of link gain there with a 1 dB on the transmit and then 9.5 on the receive, so it's 10.5 dB. This is 2 dB and these are apparently 5, so we have 3 dB less gain, so we would expect to have a little bit shorter range on this system. Uh, how much? I don't know. However, uh, the previous run was pretty impressive. I mean, Mark, what are your thoughts on this thing? I mean, I didn't see it, so... I'm almost speechless. Um, it's incredible to be able to drive a vehicle um, with an HD link. Um, it was incredible. Went easily three times farther than what I really expected to get out of it. Um, <clears throat> it, it, just, it was beautiful. I mean, that, that's, that's all I can say. Um, lag, I tested for lag a couple times, you know, uh, turning the steering wheel back and forth a couple times, and it responded immediately. Um, it, there were, I didn't notice any video lag at all. So as I was inputting on the sticks, the video was coming back to me as I was input. And what, it, that was impressive. What do you think, is there, are there any drawbacks to it? Uh, yeah, I did notice that, and I'm sure you did on the video as well, it went blue screen right there at the very end. Um, it started to pixelate, and it did that about three times, and then just poof, gone. But we had blue screen, so there's still some signal there. There's still something, but just not we don't know much. what. So it looks like uh, if we're gonna do HD FPV, we need a screen that doesn't go blue screen at all because the in-between is gone. Yeah, it, so once it, there, there's, a, there's a wall, and once you hit that wall where it starts to pixelate, you need to turn around. So that's why I, got about, I had to come back like 50 or 60 feet before you even had a video so you could drive it back. Right, basically what it seemed like to me was this is operating similar to a easy UHF, um, or range link or uh, any UHF system or even your spectrum or your Futaba fast systems where it's binding. So it, it was almost like a brownout to me in the way that it handled itself where, okay, I've lost link signal to the air unit. Hold on, now I gotta search. So I started searching for the unit and then I had to come back and rebind to it. So it, it sounds to me like uh, if, if this is going to be in flight, Probably best to have a well-programmed autopilot, probably better for a helicopter than an airplane. Still good for an airplane, but make sure you have a good autopilot. Yeah, you're, bring gonna, it back. yeah you're definitely want to make sure that that autopilot is locked in. Um, and, and I don't recommend at all trying to push the limits, okay? Because this is, an, this is a system that given what I saw where it just gone, there's no real warning. 
you don't want to be going out pushing limits because you're going to lose an aircraft. I can guarantee it. So overall, I mean, the system was what, $1,600? $1,600. What do you think? Overall, if you got $1,600 to spend and you wanted to ride HD, go for it. Okay, so with that, uh, hopefully our GoPro battery is just about charged up and we'll test with stock antennas and see where they compare to ours. So uh, here's the next test. Test two stock antennas. I'm just watching from here. Yeah. Oh my god, they can identify the blades of grass for goodness sake. See, it's, I mean, it reacts. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, no. I'm getting a little bit of lag. Yeah, I see that. Not much. Not much. There's a couple pixels right there. Is it? Hold on. Yeah, I can see it at the bottom of the screen. Hang on. You can see it right here. Yep, there it goes. It's not quite as good. All right, we're going to lose it. It's gone. Back straight up, just hit backwards straight up and see if it'll just ease, ease backwards. See if it comes back. It might, might not. You might have to go get it. There it, there it is. Well, we made it further than that on the other system, but that's probably because of the game. Right. Advantage. Oh! <laughs> just drive. So you have to keep the antennas oriented to you. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, just, just hit forward. I, I don't know where I'm pointing. Uh, then I turn that way a little bit <laughs> and go. All right, so all right, so you're getting a lot of pixelization there. All right, so the stock antennas, not bad. I think this is the first time I've actually seen stock antennas perform. Uh, granted, we were only able to go uh, through the house with the uh, stock antennas. We didn't get around the bend, didn't get around the hill, so we only had one Fresnel zone violation. Um, but really, really, really impressive. Um, yeah, I mean, I, that's about all I can say. I'm really impressed. Yeah, it, it did pretty good. Um, I, I think you started getting pixelization a lot sooner than you did with, this, with the circular. Yeah, I noticed the crossbar um, started to see. Yeah pixels yeah yeah but uh, you know so the circular has some advantages um but I there's think, no warning at least the the pixels we had a warning like hey we're at the end of our range yeah but i it, it, but again it, it was still once you got them and it was like that's true it's gone it's gone um not only that the other thing i noticed was these panel antennas that they put on the transmit side that thing appears to be directional yeah when you started to turn it was it was gone that's when it went yeah it was like it's getting weak it turned and then it went yeah, I mean, once I turned around, it was the the signal was worse than when I was going out. Yeah, we backed up back into the I, signal. I, I backed up back into the signal and went to turn around. And as I turned around, the signal the, it was just garbage. Um, yeah, I mean, I could see, um, for but a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but it, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't HD. Yeah. That's for sure. So I think uh, because we didn't think it would do this well, uh, we weren't really set up for this kind of distance. So. The next test is gonna to have to be in the air. We're gonna to have to see this in the air. My guess is that the circular system goes about twice as far as the stock, but again, we couldn't give an adequate test because we didn't think we'd make it to the end of the street. We didn't even think we'd make it around the house, let alone down the road, around the bend, through the house, through a hill. So uh, next is on an aircraft, and then we'll see how far we can get with that. But that'll be in another video. So until then, keep them flying.